Watchkeeper is a tactical UAS system designed for expeditionary overseas tactical mobility high-end operations. The system has an aircraft, ground control station and lots of other sort of ground support equipment to give it a high levels of mobility, flexibility and more importantly collecting key information to give to commanders to make timely decisions in critical information requirement times. Watchkeeper is uh, unique in that it has twin payloads, a radar for wide area surveillance and uh, all weather capability and sensing and an electro obstacle sensor for day night target accuracy, location, track and follow reporting. The aircraft is a high-end uh, tactical aircraft system. Uh, it's designed to operate in excess of 16 hours in a range of uh, line of sight range in excess of 150 kilometers and up to 16,000 feet. It carries two payloads, the Talis iMaster radar for all weather, wide area surveillance, and the electro-optical payload, dual payload, for day-night uh, identification and target tracking. The Watchkeeper UAS system is the first UAV to achieve full certification to an airworthy standard, the same as civil aviation or manned fixed wing aircraft. This allows us to fly in segregated airspace over civilian population with no more risk to the public or anybody below than manned aviation at the moment. This is the first and the first UAV to do so. Okay, we're in the uh, Watchkeeper ground control station. This is the heart of the UAV operation. It's a fully integrated C4I system that allows us to receive tasking. Uh, we can then do our mission planning, conduct the mission execution, i.e. fly the UAV, fly the sensors, receive information back from those sensors, and then start analyzing that information to exploit it, understand it, interpret, provide analytical uh, responses, and then we move that information back out to commanders on that C4I network to aid and assist in their information needs. Watchkeeper is the next generation in UAV technology. It's currently in service with the British Army, and last year it was combat proven in Afghanistan. The system provides you a robust, highly responsive ISTAR system for your intelligence needs. Talios pod is a new targeting pod that uh, Talos will introduce after a long series of pods like Atlas, PDL City and Damocles. So we're built on those 40 years of experience to introduce a brand new system which is designed to put the pilot and the user at the center of all the intentions to deliver to him the right image you need at the right time for the right decision. And so it's a brand new approach including in man machine interface principles. So we have all the state-of-the-art technologies as far as sensors that will be used so that we have an excellent images in all conditions, day and night. We will bring color capabilities and we will bring a, a lot of new functions that will help him in making the right decisions by bringing all the information available and in particular a system called permanent vision that will complement his cognitive capabilities. What he sees will be augmented by what the pod sees and what all other systems have seen before. And we bring this together. Well, this pod is uh, clearly designed for a fighter type of aircraft. Now, in our product line, we're able to package all those new functions in a wide range of different products that can accommodate either fighter aircraft or accommodate slow movers, as we call being UAVs or transport aircraft. But the technology will be brought and all the new functions will be able to be put into those kind of platforms. Today we are in, um, in uh, Paris Saint Show in Le Bourget because this is the, the week where we launch a new generation of the Star Radar. Star Radar is a, a primary uh, surveillance radar dedicated to all the control of the approach of airport or military airbase. This radar is clearly an, a compact and enhanced version of the former one with uh, less cabinets, more powerful, uh, more uh, treatment capabilities, uh, ready to answer to wind farm mitigation, uh, 4G. Uh, as you know, all our mobile phones are 
step by step going in the uh, S-band uh, frequency. So we are working on all these topics. We want to, to be able to, um, to detect uh, all the UAVs, small targets, uh, fast targets, slow targets also, because helicopters popping up uh, were not uh, in the characteristic of the former radars, but now it will be clearly uh, in the standard one. We are uh, proposing on the market now a new air-to-ground rocket system, which is uh, combat proven already in Mali, Afghanistan and Libya on the Tiger combat helicopter. This uh, new generation of weapon system is ready for use on fighter, UAV and other applications and is mainly based on a new technology which is induction. The purpose of this technology is to try to solve all the previous issues we have on the rocket system of the first generation which is that we have a wire to start the rocket motor and a wire to program the warhead. The deal and the requirement from the French army was to avoid any maintenance, reduce the weight, and make it as operational and efficient as possible. Okay? So if I show you the rocket like it's working, it's easy to load, easy to unload, no connection. Like you see, there is no connection with the system. Remove the rocket, job done. There is, like you see, no plugs, no connection. In fact, there is a coil inside the rocket with a microcontroller and capacitor. This coil and this electronics inside is used to program the rocket for the mission. When the crew press on the trigger, by induction, you send the information and the energy for the mission. We are proposing this product today for a range of ammunition, including laser-guided rockets. And compared to what the other competitor can provide, our laser-guided rockets receive in flight the laser code, the range to the target, and all the necessary information to hit the target accurately with a warhead, which is at reduced collateral damage. This means that the requirement from the French army is to have no damage at 20 meters from the point of impact. One important thing also is it was qualified in 2010. It was compliant to all the last standards. So EMC safe, IM safe, it's something which is give life easy for the operator in any condition. You can manipulate safely the system, you can handle the system anywhere, and like that, the crew in the platform have only to deal with their own mission without any constraint. It's the goal of this product to remove any constraint for the operator and only be in line with their mission is to fight. So we have uh, two radars of the Grandmaster family. You have the Grandmaster 400, a long-range air surveillance radar. And on the truck just behind me, you have the Grandmaster 200, a multi-mission medium-range radar. Grandmaster family is a great success for Thales because we have sold more than 100 radars since 2008. 80% sold for export market. But we have also a big contract last year with France because we have sold 17 radars, Grandmaster 200 and Grandmaster 400. Grandmaster 400 is dedicated to the long-range air surveillance, specially used for the territory surveillance. It can be used in OPEX, but it's rare. Typically, it, uh, it's used in France, either in mobile version just like that, or in a fixed version in tower, and it ensures the complete surveillance of the French territory. Thales provides a full range of weapon systems, from Vichorad to medium range. Vichorad, for example, we have the rapid fire, a gun vehicle based on the city, uh, the 40 millimeters uh, city gun developed by uh, Nexter and BAE. In Vichorad system, we also have system based on the Star Trek and LMM missile which can be used for surface-to-surface, surface-to-air, or air-to-surface missions. In the uh, Shorad system, we have the Krotal, the famous Krotal, uh, used by France, uh, Finland, and Saudi Arabia, for example, using the VT-1 missile. And uh, our uh, medium-range system, uh, the SAMTC system, uh, based on the Aster missile, and the real system is sold by Eurosam, a joint venture between MBDA and uh, Thales.